Welcome to Render Crash, where a studio full of VFX artists decided to play God instead of getting real work done. I'm Matt. I'm Candido. I'm Lexi. I'm Sophia. I'm Alex. I'm Jacob. We got the whole crew today, and today we did a challenge that Sophia came up with. Woo! So, everybody gets two pictures of two different animals, and they basically have to make a hybrid using our Photoshop knowledge. All right, so we're working entirely or almost entirely in Photoshop today, combining two animals. We're starting with Candido. That's me. And you had... I had a, a, a sperm whale, I almost forgot the name, and a bat. <laughs> right. uh, oh, I would like to add that we uh, we rolled for these. They were completely random. Yeah, I oh, didn't yeah, get to choose list. these. Um, so some people got what they got. Yeah, I got a whale and a bat. <laughs> Everybody got what they got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. All right. Anything you want to say before I start? Uh, nah. Uh, you can go ahead and play it. I'll describe it as All I go. Right, we're gonna start. Yeah. I I took a pretty tame approach to this one. That was me trying to rasterize it for a while. And so my first thought was, all right, how do I mix these two? So if it's gonna be a, a whale bat, it doesn't need its its fins. I think those are fins. Uh, so I just got rid of that. Got rid of the entire ocean. Uh, I just kind of went around erasing everything. Uh, got like my picture of my bat with huge fucking nuts and <laughs> decided what parts do I need so I just ripped off its wings oh my god and just kind of like used a brush with or an eraser with a lot of feather to try to like make it blend in more and just uh, change the color to kind of match more of the whale oh also if it's a, a, a whale it needs giant wings so I just made the wings like as big as possible did so you not, have like a concept going into this as far as No, like I, I just I just kind of I just kind of rolled with it. Also, okay. I was like I don't like the edges cuz they're too sharp, so I went around with an eraser with a lot of things and just erased the entire edge like by hand. Did you pick pink on purpose? No, I picked pink because it's a good thing to like look at the background so I can tell what it is. I tried like more of a pastel pink because I've done bright red and it hurts my eyes and then I go blind for 3 days. Uh, but yeah, that's just me going through the edge. There is a tool to try to like soften or like feather those edges i don't know what it is so what i like doing I is, is go jacob has told me the tool name like seven times and i always Four. forget what it is what is it the fringe the fringe the yeah fringe. I, fringe. I also do that with the wing <laughs> willem the fringe. Willem the fringe. i also go around the wings and do it like that and then i was like okay cool i did it with that so i, I deleted the other wing and then copied it and pasted it again because I don't want to do it for the other wing. Yeah. And that's me again recoloring the entire well. And then at some point, I was just like, I don't know what to do <laughs> at this point because I have this dumb looking well. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the things I like doing now is adding uh, an emboss to it because <laughs> I, I like the way it looks. Oh, I, that shine. Yeah, yeah. Also with the wings, too. I really like the way it, it uh, turns out. So I was like, okay, cool. Where do wells, wells with bat wings go? And I'm like, the sky. So I just <laughs> fucking copied uh and pasted like a fucking sky with a bunch of clouds and i was like cool so now i have to recolor it again to match kind of like <laughs> yeah, the fucking yeah. this is the third time i recolored it by the way why didn't you just group it and recover color everything together you can do that, <laughs> 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 no, you can do that. Uh, i do it one at a time i also wanted to give like more like a dreamy way so i like opened up like filter or i think it's what it's called filter gallery and yeah. like made it look more like a brush stroke like oh, a like dreamy like cloudy really a, puffy a nightmare a nightmare yeah look at yeah oh i also i also <laughs> added motion blur to, motion blur to the whale <laughs> to make it look fast as this whale moving? oh he's fast as fuck i also oh added multiple God. ones and <laughs> i started like putting them hurts. behind the clouds <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was my favorite. I put it in the background right there, really far away. Yeah. Hold on, wait for it. And then I motioned the blur the fuck out of it. So, <laughs> it so, looks like so you've got more motion blur in the back, meaning the guy way away from us is just fucking flying. flying. Yeah, he's zooming. <laughs> and then I go in, and I don't like the edges of the clouds, so I go in with the eraser again and like meticulously go around and erase them. Uh, what else do I do here? I added a, more bevel and emboss. More bevel and emboss. I think I added a shadow to it. I take I take the shadow later on because I don't think clouds actually like create shadows. They do on the ground. They, oh, do they, they do on each other. What? You can see the shadows right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they block the sun. They Any, anyway, they block most of the sun. Um. Um. Well, I added more. <laughs> I added more bevel. You mean um well. Uh, <laughs> um well. 
what else what am i doing here oh yeah i'm like messing with it a lot like i added a sh uh, i gave the well a shadow because the well will absolutely cause like a giant shadow like going down i wanted to give him more like a looming feeling like they're like like oh boy he coming like that type of feeling Jenny, but how long ago did you do this you've already forgotten what you've done uh how long was this yesterday yeah oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i also added lens flares yeah, and then i was yeah. like cool and then i started adding lens flares to them alone and it wasn't working could you imagine just being you know nice picnic and you just hear like Ooh, yeah. or like you're, or I, I like also you're flying and you look out the window I also go back I also go back and as I was discovering stuff I was like oh yo cool like oil paint looks cool so I added an oil paint filter to like everything <laughs> and so that's what I started doing like stylized and I was like ooh what is that and I just kept doing it to like literally everything background like, one looks like a cryptid photo yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was great and that was like me changing the lighting and with each individual cloud to make it look like there's more of a, a light source coming in. I think at some point I changed kind of like how the lighting is uh, for each individual well because I thought they were a little bit too dark if they're going to be like really high up in the sky. Uh, messing around with all the, all these like different colors and lights is like what I spent a majority of time trying to trying to make it look like it actually was inside like this was a painting yeah and that was what was a little bit difficult for it you know what this reminds me of have you ever seen the meme or the like things that people do on the internet where they'll go into like a thrift store and buy <laughs> old oil painting yeah and add like a kraken to a to an yeah. ocean yeah scene or like that? that's that's exactly what this looks like yeah it's this like... this is what I, this yeah that's kind of what the feeling i was going with like a, like a really cool looming painting kind of like a like almost like a dream sequence in like a Zelda game or something. Yeah, fever dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I that's me changing the the color for the back, the one in the back as well. I don't think I mess with the whale. whale. Yeah, whale. Yeah, <laughs> god damn it. I think I don't mess with the one in the back, the really motion blurred one a lot because I thought that was perfect. Um, that's me again erasing some of the clouds to make him look like more blending, like he's like mm -hmm. emerging from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that that's kind of like what I, in the up with i think or at least pretty close to it i was really messing with it uh i think i do some one more thing oh yeah i oh, signed, you it. signed it you did yeah. Sign yeah i signed it yeah there you go <laughs> there's my signature yeah because every artist needs to sign their work and i i took out my pin tool i just signed it by hand yeah it's funny yeah Nice. There we go. Looks, yeah, it looks really it does look cool. I really like that middle one emerging from the clouds. Yeah. I like the one that looks like the Bigfoot photo in the background. Like he's <laughs> the the blurred the yeah. so much. I figured that would have been a it's fan favorite. Real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I came up with. I didn't really put too many like memes or jokes in it like I would have liked to. I was really trying to come up with a concept for it, and I, I just kept leading towards this. I was looking up clouds a lot. Yeah, I, I, also, I also cut out a lot. Because I think my entire video was two hours long, and my actual work was like about an hour. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, next will be Lexi. Oh god, that's you. You um, did. One. That's you. You did one this time. You didn't yeah. participate in the challenge last time. Um. Yeah, I did one. I'm excited. You have the right one is completed. I uh, tell you that there way. is an animal. Right. What animals um, did you have? So I'll, I'll explain that. I just want to say, if Candido's was art, um, and you'd actually hang it up in your house, I don't even think my mom would put this on her fridge. Like, that's how bad this is. So. I probably used Photoshop maybe only a t total of, like, 25 times in my life, so I really did not know what I was doing, so this is this is rough. All right. Um, the the so range yeah, of skill can... here is what makes it fun, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, so you can go ahead and start, and then I'll okay. explain. So I had a, <laughs> I had a jackal and a red panda. A jackal? Jackal. Um, and I realized I wanted to use the jackal body, so I just cut out my red panda here as like a reference of trying to figure out how I want. I, I don't <laughs> know what that was. Um, trying to Hi, blend friends. them. So I used my jackal as my background, and I was I'm gonna keep the body mostly the same because I. I don't know all the fancy tools, so I oh, was wow, like you're labeling all your layers. Yeah, wow. so um, I painstakingly uh, cut out the nose of the, the red whiskers? panda with the whiskers. Uh, interesting. Um, and I cut out probably uh, I don't even know like ten minutes of my actual video of me just erasing around the edges of this to make it mm. kind of look oh. a little bit more like a nose. So that's what you see here. This is an abbreviated version of painstakingly just trying to erase because. Obviously, um, it doesn't look the greatest, but it also doesn't select whiskers. 
Yeah. So um, that's what this painful process is. And I You're like screwed those whiskers. Yeah. And I started to give up a little bit towards the end and I just kind of shortened the whiskers because I was not going to spend the time to um, Go erase all of them. Um, so that was pretty much my inspiration for this part was I was trying to give the jackal the red panda uh, nose and like mouth. Jackal um, mouth. Yeah, the jackal. jackal. So jackal. I put it on there and I decided which way I wanted it to go. <laughs> <laughs> it did look kind of funny. Um, I looked at any of the blending modes. I wasn't really happy with that. Um, so then I just kind of messed with the brightness and contrast. Here's me struggling to figure out how an adjustment layer works. Um, so eventually I get it, but it takes me a painstakingly amount of long amount of time. Um, so there's me doing that, still doing that. Um, <laughs> eventually friend. pulling back up. It's like a Pokemon appearance. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> this is me trying to see what my options are for that. Again, not getting anywhere with it. Finally pulled it up and Googled and found a way to eventually group them together, do something of that nature. I still don't think I'm there. There we go. Okay. We're getting close. Um, so editing the panda nose, and then I wanted to make it look a little bit more realistic, so I tried to blend some of the fur together, um, took away some of the red panda nose. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. The whiskers are still not cut out very well because I didn't want to mess with it. So I think I tried to blur it here pretty soon, and it looked terrible. So I <laughs> went back on that idea. Um, and then just tried to kind of, um, I don't know if I painted over it or not. I do eventually, but friend. there, yeah, there's our friend back as reference. <laughs> I love him. Uh, and then I cut out a piece of his fur because I wanted that as like a reference and I originally wanted to just like overlay it, but then it, I was like, that's going to look too funky. So I just tried to keep the fur texture of the jackal and give it more of the red panda like coloring. Oh, nice. So okay. here's me messing up a lot on uh, opacity Friend. and all that. But eventually we get kind of somewhere with it. I wanted to make the eyes look a little bit more red panda also. So I kind of just like erase some of the coloring. The black is really terrible. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to make the ears kind of look a little bit Hello more like the bandit. panda too. So I just kind of like lightened up the ears to look more like a panda. I gave him like the little eyebrows and the, like the cheeks. Um, I'm like, so you little panda. I just tried to make the fur a little bit better. It was still your heart. But he did. <laughs> yeah. So then I finished with the fur and I just kind of tried to edit the the picture there. Um, and then I I think I eventually. I, oh, I forgot there was a tail. <laughs> so I had to go back and fix that in the end. So I'm just kind of going over it, making it look a little bit more smooth. And I um, think that's what I ended up with. Hey, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. I like, he is a bandit. He's, he's a little bandit. He's got yeah. his little eyebrows. So. He's got to do I think it would at least be a, there's a spot for that on the fridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's a spot <laughs> there on the fridge. That makes me feel a little bit better. If, if it makes you feel better, Alexi, I also forgot there was a tail for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think the cool thing is that you definitely can see the concept in it, right? Oh, yeah. Like if we were doing this for concept art or trying to come up with a new creature for a project or something, I mean, this would absolutely give you the sense of what you're trying to go for. Mm -hmm. So I think it's great. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You guys can say that it's whack. It's fine. He's a friend. He's a friend. I just like the little eyebrows and the blush, yeah. so oh. that really gets I like, I like his nose. It looks like he got like... Kind of bonked. Yeah. Just a little crooked. He's still a little bonk bad. in the... I should have had the bonk bag. <laughs> like the Looney Tunes when they get punched in their nose is just like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, shall we do Sophia's next? Oh, boy. I should have a fox and a turtle. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Pretty good images. Oh. Um, I knew right away what I wanted to do once I saw the pictures. Um, I start by... <laughs> <laughs> he is so smug. I start yeah. by cutting out the fox's head. Yeah. Both um, are animals. I went through a... a Process trying to get the brush right. You can change the way you can change. Yeah, the brush. Oh, yeah. What what the, you wanted, could change a brush. What Would I you? wanted to do was um, make it almost hair texture, and this is actually the eraser, um, so I could erase the edges and leave the fur texture. Yeah. Um, it wasn't perfect. I probably could have downloaded better brushes to do this with. It wasn't perfect. <laughs> Get out. That looks better than my eraser. You're off the island. Um, <laughs> but it, I think it kept the texture oh, pretty yes. well. Um, 
Yeah, they did pretty well. A lot of this right now is just a race. <laughs> That's it. So then I decided to do the neck. Um, I took part of the fox's shoulder and I shaped it down. Good lord. <laughs> and I, uh, same thing I did with the head. I blended it in. Um, I really had a tough time with the brush. I kept having to reset it, but I like how it came out so far. Mm -hmm. um, this is all still me shaping the fur. I'm shaping the fur throughout the until the very end. Mm -hmm. All right, now this is where I get the chest for the turtle. Okay. Oh, hell um, yeah. My essential <laughs> plan was to make the body, the neck, and the head a fox. Mm -hmm. And um, leave the shell. Leave the shell. And leave the shell. Okay. Um, I cut out a part of the shell to put on top of the fur. Okay. And right here, I'm just kind of shaping it up, and like instinct, you know, <laughs> cut out the leg so because it, it would be in front of the fur. Yeah. Right. Um, at this point, I think I start shading it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And no, I'm still doing fur, but when I do shade it, um, I took colors from the fox <gasps> and I just kind of started shading with colors. And then you'll see in a second, I'm still erasing. There's so much erasing. Mm -hmm. The technique works really well, though. It yeah. does. Especially when we see the full screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. There were still some blue edges, and I wasn't quite happy, but... It's it, technique. This is where I... Where does it go? <laughs> this is where I started shading. Um, I just oh. kind of colored it in, did some sh basic shading, and then... Uh, yeah. I think I used hard light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but the color was too weird, so I fiddled with the... Uh, hue and saturation and then I blurred it wow. and yeah that's really good yeah Jeez. it came out well the issue I had with it was it blurred out like <laughs> okay. so fast <laughs> are those action lines what no. the fuck is that that was me trying to track where the light was coming from oh <laughs> okay oh. It does look, look like... at you being an artist yeah, no, I was trying to see where the light direction was more like fire hey, no, shut up <laughs> <laughs> Um, at this point, I haven't named any of my layers yet. Yeah. Yo, let's go. <laughs> this is where I start getting a so little confused. So proud of you. Um, Don't be proud of that. The shadow was frustrating. <laughs> I kept trying to erase it, and part of the edges would be too light, oh my and God. I really start fighting with it. I did see Sophia punch her computer three times, so that makes yeah. sense. No, this part, this right here, was so frustrating. I oh, bet it didn't yeah. help that the, he's just a smug. That the fox is being fucking smug about it. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I've, got, I've got a tip for that. You'll see it in mine. I, uh, I, said a lot I take care of his smug expression. No. You, what, did, what do you do? No. What did the you do? The turtle was also smug, though, if you yeah. noticed. Yeah. So, um, God, he really is smug. <laughs> I start labeling my uh, layers here. No, why? Because <laughs> it helps, Kim. Really yeah, but, but it makes it funnier. <laughs> like you don't. Um, I did turn off the background because, yeah. like, like with yours, Kim, you know, it's just easier to see the edges. Yeah. Um, I'm still fighting with the shadow at this point. <laughs> so smug. <laughs> I also want to point out that a fox is uh, a. <gasps> Jacob's favorite character. Animal. Animal. Yeah, character. character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he fucking loves Fox Mr. 64. Fox. Yeah. The Mr. Fox. Yeah. Star um, Fox, yeah. Ooh. So I was okay. thrilled to... Uh, yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, so I started, it started color grading him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's still looking pretty cute right now. <laughs> I'm afraid right of this now. foreshadowing. Yeah. Is he not cute? <laughs> yeah. um, Sophia, how... how how deep are we down the rabbit hole right now? So, uh, I don't know what time are we at. Uh, we are at... Okay. Oh, so okay. two-thirds of the way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is where I decided he needed more turtle. <laughs> oh, oh, great. I am more. afraid of where this is going to go. Are you going to give him a snappy turtle mouth or something? I decided he needed more turtle. <laughs> um, okay, so you're answer still... Answer that question. You're still... I think... <laughs> oh, no, I think I'm still doing shading here. Oh, I'm not, no. I haven't gotten there yet, but, uh... I see a lot of techniques from like animation and illustration that you're using to. Yeah, yeah I'm cool. using a lot of my um, my oh here we go. Oh, I'm afraid. Uh, oh, I oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, god, it's Sophia. I thought you know. It looks like it looks like the rock's eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's raising an eyebrow. Oh my gosh, Sophia! I thought he needed the soulless eyes of a turtle. He has yeah. goggles. No, on. yeah, he's got goggles. He's a Quidditch player. This almost looks like a sculpture. Thank you. Uh, I'd put this in my yard. Scary, yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. Um, you don't like it? I decided he also scary needed me. a tail. 
but there's no tail in the original picture. Uh, so you just I, found one. Well, there kind of was a tail. Um, oh. So I worked with that, and since it goes off the edge, I decided I could cheat that aspect of it. And I used the same technique on everything else that I use. Technique. Technique. Yeah, so I cut it out, I erase the stuff on top. Oh, that's cool. And then Bob's tail? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Wow. And then the same process of erasing the edges and color shadowing. writing it down. Mm-hmm. Same shadowing technique. God, yours is looking so skilled, and I know I'm next. And it's not <laughs> <laughs> how do you I, I, how do you think I felt when uh, I was like, oh, to be this fair, is I, uh, I knew I had a leg up in this challenge. <laughs> That's why she recommended it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think a Halo challenge is next. <laughs> I think I could win at that one. <laughs> It's a shame that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh cool. that looks cool. Yeah. Oh no, it gets closed. Is it the oh, eyes, no. Sophia? No. <laughs> no. Did you add? Did you add this edit? Dude. Yeah. Did you not edit your video at all? Huh? I just cut uh, out. I just sped it up and cut the part. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, my God. I don't want to oh, look man. at that. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's beautiful. Look at those eyes. <laughs> There's no soul behind those eyes. The thing is, Jacob, you didn't get your beautiful fox. I didn't get my beautiful red panda. It's okay. No. You gotta, I really like what you, you did gotta, with the fur. That was... With I, the fur. I, I knew more. someone eventually was going to break. <laughs> you can see where the shadows didn't quite match up with the fur. And I was That's frustrated. Still, I like that, That's though. still very good, though. The textures are realistic. Really good. Oh, Sophia, it's hard to mix reptilian with mammal. It really Really? Is. Really? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's like, are you sure about that? <laughs> yes, mine is the same. <laughs> What did I have? Speaking of yours, let's do Alex next. Anything else you want to say before we start? Uh, I regret a lot. I, I don't know much about uh, Photoshop compared to After Effects or so. So like I had the bug Candido a few times over like even just doing some of the minor things. I completely he, forgot. He like, kept asking things. me for help. Like, hey, can you help me with this? But like, don't look. Because like, <laughs> he doesn't want it. He didn't want it to be spoiled for me. Yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It's I... a spoiler though. <laughs> uh, let me let me do. I'm like it's I, it's fine. I'm gonna watch it anyway. It's fine. <laughs> when you cut the stuff out, it really adds up. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I decided that I wanted the body length of the jackal first. So jackal. I was like, I want to make the alligator basically be. Or crocodile, whatever. Uh, I want it to be like a scary and tall. They're different. I know they're different. I don't remember which one it is. <laughs> and so one uh, will see you in a while, and the other will see you later. I think is how it goes. Right? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know. Alli- <laughs> see you later, alligator in a wild oh, crocodile. Dang. I think right. More like okay. yeah, the like, one for the feet. Ooh. What, the, what tool is that? It's a warp tool. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the one thing I knew on heart. <laughs> so you see it, ma'am. <laughs> So how I want it is that like I I envision imagine like what a windagoon is for us, but like imagine that with a crocodile and like a jackal. And it's a combination of jackal? You mean a windigo? Like a wind like, You yeah. said windagoon. No, like a windigo. <laughs> <laughs> a windigo. Thought I caught that. <laughs> a windigo. So I wanted to make something that was like uncanny and also kinda like if you find it, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, I did the same thing that Sophia did. Oh, they're kissing. The with the eyes. Uh, I also like, did make him kiss for a quick second. <laughs> they take a kiss. The eyes translate really well. They very yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, that, that one especially the makes shape, really well. The shape is similar, actually. On mine, no matter which way I turned him, it looked like he was, like, lazy eye. Well, I, I Oop, first thought about sneaked. doing the other direction, but, like, <laughs> then I was like, screw this. Super. I'll just make it look straightforward. Oh, oh my god, oh, it's the, it's the Joker. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. No, it's Two Face. Yo, nice. Holy oh. crap. So I wanted to look like horrifying. This motherfucker yeah. was like, You're I don't know. This motherfucker was like, I don't know how to use Photoshop. <laughs> I don't! <laughs> and he's pulling out fucking moves like none of Sophia us did. doesn't know. I don't, what the- it was the work tool, and that's the only thing I remember that I learned. Photoshop's is my na- main tool for everything, and I've never heard of the work tool. There's a what tool? <laughs> So I, I was like, all right, so how do I combine fur and scales well? Boots. And I, I boots. Yes. <laughs> you don't give an alligator boots. And so I was like, all right, I guess I'll just 
keep carving it and warping it until it looks somewhat natural. Oh, oh my God. God. And after a while, you'll see this. It almost looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain <laughs> with like armor. Oh. I'm surprised at how well that works. Like, yeah, yeah. gosh, actually, it looks creepy as heck. Honestly, what's yeah. really helping you out is the fact that the arm is like curved a little bit. Ever so you, slightly. When you when you like stretch it out, it does look like a muscle. Yeah. I decided to like destroy it though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, uh, I was all right. Take you it gave, back. You gave I, me a I'm compliment. Ta- take it yeah, back. I'm taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it, give it, give it. <laughs> I, I decided to destroy it, and then, like, now I started making, like, war armor. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, my good lord. Oh, okay. That's what I mean, like, it looks like He's a... He's like, pauldrons. I was going to say, it's going to be like a, a half fox, half gator, Jack half pangolin. <laughs> It's it's gonna be a warrior. It's a it's a jackal wearing the armor of a gator. It's a warrior. It's a warrior. Not a cat. cat <laughs> no, not a warrior cat. No, no. <laughs> but I was trying to like during this whole process, I was trying to figure out because what I needed the most was the legs, and I couldn't figure out how I wanted the legs. Yeah. And so I went by pieces of warping. I went by pieces of cutting out, and then after a certain point of warping and just getting what I could, I said screw this, and I just started like. Uh, uh, stamp cloning it and just like going above and getting a piece and going above and getting a piece. That mouth is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do yeah. like the mouth a lot. It's, it's, oh, it's you, going for, you going for tail now? That's oh, why I, oh. I realized there was a tail there and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> nice. That was the one thing that I happened to see whenever you cut out the tail and I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. And I try to blend it as much as I can. And hey. again, like, <laughs> I, I, fur and reptilian skin is really rough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's a, it's reptilian shut, skin. Shut, shut. <laughs> and, and then, that looks good. And then that's when I, I like decided, that. like, screw it. I'm just going to start painting. Yeah. I like or that. stamping. Yeah. <laughs> so I must just say, oh, then you just got to watch this for a minute. I, yeah. I do I do like this. Like, your little elements that you're, like, trying to blend them in, mm-hmm. like, really well. It, you did get a difficult one to yes, you mix did. together. Yeah. But uh, I basically wanted to be like a, a horrifying lord creature. Hey, it's working. Yeah. That, that like you discovered. I, and so like its habitat's like where an alligator or a crocodile would be, like kind of a swampy area. Mm-hmm. And the, what it's trying God. to do is basically lure in jackals or other like... Jackal? Like a like a, like a like a wolf or a fox or anything like that. And that's its prey. No. It, it's, so that's why it takes in that like oh, front you give, it, you give it lore? Yeah, yeah. I give it lore. She's <laughs> got a whole backstory. Yeah. He does like mind travel and hers. Ooh, nice. And so, so I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to make like most of his body oh like the yeah, alligator. He's like straight. warping the back. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I straight up. I, I, I only know the warp. Tool. You're warping the back to fit the. I would not have done that. I would have just like fucking pasted it on there and just left it like how it is. And then I, I like content aware, it, and then I realized the edges were kind of rough, so I just like started racing slightly mm-hmm. when I need to. Ooh, uh, I like the. And, and I envision basically imagine like a alligator or a crocodile, but like taller and faster. Yeah. And I was Yo, like, he got a belly. He is fat. <laughs> Plated belly. Mine ended up really similar to yours. Interesting. I have I had a lot wow. of very similar things to work with. Dude, you were using the hell out of that warp tool. It's the only hey, thing I know. Yeah. That blending is really good. Yeah. I, yeah. I know how to work con- uh, content aware and how to work for warp tool. <laughs> but those are the only two strong aspects gorf I know. Warp tool. The warp tool. Yeah. Gorf, gorf, gorf. I didn't know how to change any of the lighting, so you will have to deal with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Deal with it. Wow. It's creepy. Yeah. Oh, that's. That's horrible. That's yeah, dude. And I figured like right, it needs a little less fur right there, right mm-hmm. where that connection. And it's supposed to be the other way too, but you kind of can't see it anyway. So I was like, eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Oh my god! And there's that body, and I was like, all right, cool. Finally got a camel oh, back. Right? Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. you telling me that like how how, to, how do you import it back? And also, I realized that I didn't fit it all the way to the right. <laughs> and just cleaning up the toesy woesies. <laughs> the world host. He does have a little toesy woesies. And there's a little surprise for the end for Candido since he did see it. And I, a, thought, I thought about a, are you, are you, Oh, there. Oh, so there's something in here that I haven't seen. You yeah. haven't seen. Okay, cool. I'm very excited about yeah, it. You get ankles. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to make sure that they look kind of seam, seamless. Yeah. So that way they don't look as choppy. Hopefully. Either way, <laughs> no matter what, I do put them in the water. Oh, okay. So you just hit all of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I put all <laughs> the really? <laughs> Not exactly. Kind of. He's like, <laughs> I only hit 90%. <laughs> I like how we give Alex compliments about how well he's doing it, and then he gets rid of it. <laughs> yeah, he gets rid of it. <laughs> so anyway, I shrunk it. Oh, he's, he's oh. making a pack. No, Ooh. he's making a reflection. Are they going to fuck? No, I'm not making a reflection. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just darkening him up because he has to go into the shadow. That's the one that will be standing up. and then there's oh, one okay. oh, you're making be, two. Okay. Yeah, ah. And then there's a second one that will be like kind of lower into the water or it's deeper. See, there's a reflection. Are they going to kiss? 
They won't kiss. They already kissed before. Mm-hmm. They already kissed before. Okay. Oh, and then you cut out that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I made a little bit of a opacity change there. That way you can slightly see the body, mm-hmm. but not much. And I, I try to clean up as much as I can without looking like a shark oh, cut. Weird. If I saw those, I would shit my pants twice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they do make a yelping noise. What? Why That's is there so much good. lore? <laughs> I had time. I was thinking about I was making the monster. Entire I gave mine a little bit of lore. Like, there's not very much bone in the neck, so it kind of just flops around. I did not give mine any thought. Brat. flies. What did what, sky? What did, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to happen at some point. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this, oh these troubled warriors are going to discover something. Troubled, troubled war- warriors? Yeah, they're going to, they're going to like. Are you going to give them armor? Like, they're, 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 warriors. they're like wanderers. Okay. And they're like, oh, yo, look at that wild creature. And then I made a night, oh, night I, made, I made a night oh, one. Oh, for nighttime. I and so there's like a daytime and there's a so, night. Oh, time. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes, dude. Wow, dude. And I changed it back oh and forth a little god. bit. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and just so you know, they will die. <laughs> Those people will not survive. This is found footage. Yeah. yeah. This, this, is, this is where it becomes a Windigoon video. Yeah, like. Windigoon. <laughs> and so that's them. They're basically, imagine what a Windigoon or Windigo is. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going back and forth. And, but imagine it being two other creatures that's not humanoid. Mm-hmm. And that's what they are. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is great. That's that great, is. Stager. Yeah. Again, That's I'm fun. not that skilled in Photoshop. No, it's motherfucker. I'm, I'm not that skilled in Photoshop. Yeah. Fuck it. You showed two tools I've never used in my entire life. <laughs> I used to use Photoshop to animate, bro. <laughs> Sophia's last name is Photoshop. <laughs> I didn't that. like that. Are we that Jacob one. next? That's We're me. doing Jacob. Next. That's me. This is mine. I really, really trimmed my video down, by the way. Okay. So, yeah. Like, you, what is it? Four and a half minutes. Yep. I like go. All, all right. Anything have. before I start? Um, I got a sloth and I got a goose, and oh, I, can't wait. I uh, mixed those together, and boy, did it do something. So, <laughs> so I have both of these images here. Again. I. Very, very, very quickly cut out like everything in front of this sloth just to basically get some fur. I again, I very much sped this up, and I spent a lot of time just cutting out my goose here because I wanted to make sure that it was the goose shape without any additional areas. As oh, you the, went the reverse way. Of yes, out and I uh, I also typed in goose, and it just gave me a little tiny image there of like what a goose was. And so then I uh I was trying to animate this, which would have been the goose to like sit there and honk a couple times. <laughs> And then run off side to the right screen, like right side of screen like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't work. And so uh, my screen capture kind of failed me on that one. Um, so this is what it ended up looking like in actual time oh of just God. that. So if, if things look a little bit choppy, so I started just oh, kit bashing and God, photoshopping like... the actual fur of the sloth to, the, um, to where the fur and everything on the goose would be. Mm-hmm. And so, again, for the lighter areas and more like tummy, I tried to take that for the arms. Again, I very quickly decided that it needed arms. <laughs> it's going to blab. And I didn't know. So, I get about it. For, it's not a you hey. <laughs> <laughs> On my first attempt, as you can see, the, the hands are technically upside down. Uh-huh. And I didn't realize that until very far in that I had accidentally made the arms upside down. And so they will flip over, but in the time being, it is an Italian goose. I got the goose. I got the goose. I got the <laughs> Were you and drawing so, out feathers? Well, and so I was just trying to give it an outline because all the fl- all the fur just really blended together. Yeah. And so I just gave it a very quick, like, just basically black outline so you can actually tell what the part, because it just looks like blob with arms, and it still kind of looks like a blob with arms, but at least if there's... Partial lining. Partial lining and partially just like, hey, some, some circles here, some you lines had a there. a tablet, too, so... Yes, and so... That's a good idea, I didn't know that. What, just that like outlining it? Oh, yeah. It, it helps it really stand out because, again, you, you saw before it was just fur. And so instead of it just being fur, it is a little bit of sloth goose. And I called it a sluice if you look over in the... Uh, a sluzy? A slu... No, sluice. It's not very... It's not s- slutty. Um, <laughs> and so I quickly... <laughs> <laughs> but the outline at least helps a little bit. Um, I went through and started outlining the arms and then realized, oh, crap, I should turn them upside down. Um, flip those back around. Now he's, like a <clears throat> now he's doing like a little, yeah, now he's coming for you. <laughs> and so I saw him with, thriller, he is doing thriller. <laughs> and so I realized, well, if his arms are out and if it's 
a goose and a sloth together, um, it needs to. It it's probably committed crimes. <laughs> It's probably done. What? Thing. Gave you the what? I mean, look at that eye. The, the mm-hmm. eyes in its face and the, the arms alone was enough. And so um, I realized that he needed to be put in prison for his for his war crimes. <laughs> what do you um, What do you mean? <laughs> um, Where's this going? <laughs> uh, to to prison. Um, so also, I, I decided to color the actual beak of the sluice, the nose of the sloth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that way, it kind of mixes in a little bit better. Um, and I don't know. I was okay. Yeah, here's where I darkened up the base of the bottom of the of the sluice. Okay. And realized, oh, hey, that should blend a little bit better, so you can actually see its ass compared to like the rest of the fur. Yeah. And I think right now is where I'm looking for the image <laughs> for him to go into uh, into federal uh, prison. Federal prison. Federal prison. Damn, um, that's pretty bad. He he's a very bad goose. I also was hoping to somehow get goose.exe on my computer while I was doing this, and it didn't work. So I, I put him in shackles. <laughs> um, <laughs> So uh, he any on his legs? He's no, no, no. He only the only thing that's stopping him from committing crimes is the fact that geese don't have hands. So when he got well, hands, he he's in, <laughs> <laughs> so he's in prison, and I gave him a little bit of a shit. What with an Alcatraz? Yeah, an Alcatraz. Like, like, weird. Really? They put Epstein in. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so he's in prison, and I was like, well, this little guy here, he's he's committed some horrible heinous acts. Like, what would that look like? And so I uh, I covered him in a little bit of blood. Um, <laughs> They didn't clean him up before they. Threw no, him he, in he he got thrown into prison. this. He got thrown yeah, into this really. prison no here court, no for fighting day. against yeah. other inmates on in the yard. Um, and so he's <laughs> he looks <laughs> like he bites. He yeah. absolutely does. It looks like he scratches. Oh my god! And so I yes, yeah, so I threw him in there. And so again, this is just zooming in. It. That was the end product of Oops. the sluice. Um, and then I, because I had a lot of crashes, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> happened to do that. But bring Noel into this. Yes, always gotta bring Noel into it. Well, if something crashes, you, it's it's Noel. It's, it's Noel. always he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> he has no fear. Order. Man, your y'all's animals commit war crimes and lure jackals to their death. Yeah. <laughs> I got a fucking animal with wings. Of course, my yeah. flies. <laughs> I will say this Mine's throughout. Mine's just like chilling. Yeah. yeah. I guess the last one is me. It's all about yo, you. Yo, it's Matt. It's me. All right, so what'd you get? Ooh. Ooh. So I had... Richard. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> I had a Richard Richard. <laughs> yeah. Um, this little cute... Oh, I think you can say it. No, it's a, it, it's a, it's a little deer called a Dick Dick and an iguana. Um, and this one, so the proportions and the, the the stature of both of these things are very similar to alex's right because he had a mammal and a and a large lizard so right. you're going to see me going through a lot of the same steps and struggles <laughs> that alex did um but i'll go ahead and get it started here so my first idea was basically um to kind of try to use elements of each of these animals to make a new animal if that makes sense like i wasn't intending to try and use both um and so i was like okay i want to take the idea of the pers- uh of, of the 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 size of like the dick dick and um <laughs> like the proportions but then like make it more lizard like and and not oh. but not be an iguana. Oh. So my idea was like this big lizard with with antelope proportions that was sunning itself on a rock. Oh yeah. Um it you, you'll see it didn't really work that well. It's also kind of I was running into a little bit of a problem because the uh the photo of the iguana that I was working with kind of goes out of focus about halfway back. And so I didn't have as okay. much texture to work with as I, as I kind of initially was thinking. But here you can kind of see I'm, I'm taking the pieces, I'm kind of adjusting the color. and trying. It was to hard to the... find a good, clear picture of the yeah. body of an iguana. But, I mean, it worked. I mean, the, the quality was really good. It just the, the shallow focal length was a little bit of a challenge. So here I'm trying to basically just... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm taking pieces of, of this and just kind of positioning them and trying to get everything to blend well. Um, 
And you notice my layers on the right are just a, a complete mess at this point. Yes. yes. I do go in and start labeling things just be, for no. my own sanity because <laughs> you can't have this. Like I was wasting so much time just turning layers on and off to figure out what the hell I was even doing. That's why I had to start labeling mine. I like yeah. what you're doing with the legs. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it was it was a concept that I was working with. I'm not sure that it, it, it definitely did not turn out the way you're hoping that I was hoping for. So um, you'll see, I'm kind of trying to get the pieces. Also, the, the 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 lighting wasn't really working well with the background. I didn't feel like like I tried to get a, an appropriate angled background where the sunlight was coming from the same side. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I was I was really struggling with this one. So there, I'm trying to put more pieces back together and what I started realizing basically was all I was really doing um, was kind of uh, just shuffling the existing pieces I didn't feel like I was doing anything particularly original here so I was really kind of in a headspace where I was not feeling that this was working at all. I was ba basically just felt like I was making a worse iguana. <laughs> um, <laughs> the one that can gallop at you at full speed. I mean, maybe if it could, I mean, it, it just, yeah. And oh here, my good lord. Here I'm trying to add the tail back in, and it, again, that's like, it's like super out of focus, and I couldn't get it to move right. Oh, what's that tool you're using? Which one? Oh, the work tool? <laughs> yeah. Well, the work tool wasn't working either, so I was just, I eventually just started like cutting. Making it. your own tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just cut it apart and kind of started trying to blend it a little bit, um, which was kind of working. I mean, that part I felt like I could have gotten there. But then, yeah, I, I, I was just done, so I just deleted the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> no. oh my God. It really did not seem like it was going to work out the way I wanted it to. So I kind of kept the same concept, though. But I was like, okay, what if this thing was a, you know, I kept the concept of a, of a lizard with antelope proportions, but I simplified the idea a little bit more, and I was like, okay, what if this thing evolved to fill the ecological niche of the antelope in the, co in the environment that this antelope grew up in? So I, I kept the original setting of the, the uh, dick dick, and I keep, <laughs> that's what it's called. Hey, right. You're the only I'm one sorry. laughing hey, over can there, you Shut up. It's <laughs> funny. Um, so I kind of went, so I kind of embraced the idea of, okay, I am just going to remake this lizard, but to fill a niche that is more suited to these the, 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 the grasslands. So I, I kind of repeated the same thing, but I felt like this was working a lot better the second time around. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I did a lot of repositioning, clone stamping, blending, and here I'm just grabbing different pieces and putting the legs and everything kind of where they're supposed to go. I will say, uh, Matt, from this one to the previous one, it does look more smaller compared mm -hmm. to the other one where, I'm not going to lie, it kind of looked like almost like a horse. Yeah, know? no, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So th this is the right direction. I yeah. think the perspective <laughs> of the grass makes it like look that way too. Mm -hmm. And I also realized that because the background here is blurry, it was going to work better with the oh, photo anyway. Because yeah. as the parts kind of recede away, it, it made sense that the, the focus would change. So yeah. I'm just, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. It, like it looks like it could be in the movie Dinosaur, yeah. 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 I like it. it. It looks more like a friend. Oh, yeah. Ryan. It looks very prehistoric. It's right. the horse. That's the size of like of like a dog. <laughs> a tiny person. Put a saddle on dog. The pepper? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Oh, yeah. oh so I So here like I'm just dog. kind of we'll looking, I'm just checking out like perspective and everything and then i decided to flip the tail around because i felt like it would look a little bit better uh, yeah kind of like go down into the grass do you keep the little tufty on his head uh no but i uh so i was that was, was the like, other thing i was struggling with so here you're gonna see i'm i'm like trying to figure out like how to do the ears yeah and so i'm like grabbing different pieces and seeing what would work i grabbed like a little bit and then finally i oh. just decided I wasn't gonna make. The, I wasn't gonna be able to make the ears work because a lizard with ears just looks completely wrong. So I just got rid of the ears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I ah. and I brought back kind of some of the crested bits on the, of scale on his head. And then here, uh, this is kind of the same problem that Lexi was running into. I wanted to bring in these details of the grass. So essentially, what I did was I just duplicated the original uh, the original um, background and just kind of drew in the area. 
of the grass to kind of make that work. And then oh. obviously the color is all wrong. So what I did was I made another couple of uh, adjustment layers and started applying, s sampling the color of the deer and painting over the color and, and just affecting the color rather than oh. the, uh, rather than the pixel, like the, the paint. Yo, that's really good. So yeah, and so I'm trying to like keep some of the styling of the iguana as much as I can, but also again, like with the idea that this thing has evolved in this grassland to be camouflaged and to kind of hide, and then here I'm adding sh shading um, and trying to uh, set it up to where, ba basically, yeah, there we go. So, um, but yeah, so. That's awesome. Just That's magic. Really wow. I, yeah, yeah, I really do like what you did with the color towards the It was the like end. a modern dog. It, it really yeah. changed the whole thing. Yeah, yeah like it, I felt color. like it really integrated it more into the, I like the yeah, eye environment too. a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I added the, the coloring of the eyes from the antelope. It looks really good. It, it does. does. Somehow still cuddly. Yeah, no, he's very yeah. cute. It's like one of the dinosaurs you can have as a pet. Yeah. And hopefully not eat you. We all have yeah. one of those. It's like a little, little compy from the, the second, was it the second one or the third one? From Chappie? No, no, no. The, the compies, the compsignathus from Jurassic Park, the little ones, the ones that are like oh, real small. Like running in a little... Yeah, and it's like one of them's like really cute, and then there's a million of them, and yeah. they eat everybody. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, um, that was today's challenge. Uh, I think everybody did great and had had a lot of unique ideas and takes and everything. Uh, if you have any ideas for things you want to see us do in the future, leave a, leave a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Do all the YouTube things. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.